Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome back to the Kid Friendly Video. And I want to thank each and every one of you for dropping by to visit our channel each and every day. We've just completed our entire collection of fabulous cars from Pixar Cars. What we're doing, folks, we're taking the regular cars from Pixar Cars and we're painting the different colors and giving them different... Uh, a different meaning from now on for a while. Like we got a whole series of fabulous cars in honor of Fabulous Doc Hudson from Cars 1. We have Fabulous Mater, Fabulous Jackson Storm, even Fabulous Miss Fiddle, the School Bus of Doom. And what do we have here? Even have Fabulous Thomas the Train. That's right. And Fabulous Dusty from Plains, not to mention Lightning McQueen. We have the real exact uh, the real fabulous Lightning McQueen in a package somewhere. I didn't open that yet. Fabulous Sally, Fabulous Fillmore, Fabulous Serge. Even fabulous Luigi and Guido. And over here, folks, we have a whole bunch of other cars we painted over the last six months. We have all the Crazy Eight races from Cars uh, 3. Let's see, the whole whack of them there. There's Bill. Uh, there's Bill there. And there's um, uh, High Impact, Taco. And there's actually Rainbow Cruise and Mirrors. It's not related to anything, but it did, did a good job. High Impact. No, that's a Pushover. That was one of my favorites. And here we have Boost. It's actually APB. The two look hit and miss, hit and run, I mean, the, the Gremlins. And look at this, folks. We have a whole series of, um, these are Zebra cars. They're Zebra Mater, Zebra the King, Zebra Lightning McQueen, Zebra Serge, and Zebra Someone Else Axarad, uh, Doc Hudson, and then, of course, Chick Hicks. And there's um, Mater turned into uh, Chris, Chris Revstovsky. That's Mater. And we have down here, we have Lightning McQueen turned into Miss Fritter. Can you believe that? That's hard to believe. That's actually Lightning McQueen. Yes, it is. You can see that video. If you go up here, there's a button. You can take it back and watch those videos. We have a whole bunch of NASCAR cars here, folks. Um, and even we have uh, Mater turned into Miss Fritter. Yes, that's Mater. It's a school bus, but it's actually Play-Doh on top. It's getting kind of old looking. And there we have, look, Burnt out Lightning McQueen from Cars 3. He was one of the big accidents at the start of Cars 3. There, just dropped it. And uh, because of that, we made Primer McQueen. And that's our first car we ever made, uh, Primer McQueen. And it's the most popular video. So if you want to watch that video, you can click up here and find it somewhere, the link. So what we're doing here, look, we have a whole bunch of other cars. Retired. There's retired Lightning McQueen with no stickers. Retired Jeff Corvette, beautiful gold. Retired um, Jackson Storm, just blue, perfect. And this, but I made a mistake yesterday. I said that was Cruiser Mirrors. This is actually Michael Schumacher in yellow, a Ferrari. Okay, and we got a whole bunch more cars over here, folks. And we even have uh, this here, Miss Fritter. If you look at one side, it's zebra. On this side, it's rainbow. Some people like the rainbow series, so I made it. And here we have Glitter Storm. This is Jackson Storm covered in glitter. So we got a double header for today, folks. What we're gonna do? We're gonna make Glitter McQueen or Glitter Lightning out of this old. Um, this is. Um, Bling Bling Lightning McQueen. We're gonna paint that and cover it with red glitter to match Jackson Storm. And we're also gonna make Zebra Thomas the Train. So sit back and relax. We're gonna paint this primer first, just the top. We're not gonna do the wheels. We're gonna leave them blue. We're just gonna paint the top white and black to make Zebra Thomas. And we're gonna cover this guy in a gray primer and then pour glitter over it and make it um, Glitter McQueen or Glitter or glitter lightning. So sit back folks, I'll get the paints out right now and um, we'll start this here um, video for the day. First thing I wanna do is put the primer out in this little container right here. And I'm gonna do um, Thomas the Train in primer first. And then I'm gonna paint the whole thing white and then add black stripes down the side. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be nice. It's going to be called Zebra Thomas. Okay, let's get the paint, let's get the brush. Okay, I'm glad um, people are asking me to do Thomas and Friends because I'm running out of car ideas for uh, the Pixar car series. I got all those fabulous cars, all the crazy eight cars, and um, I did a lot of cars, folks, and um, I need some more ideas. Some of the ideas are really good. Some of them, I just can't figure them out. So if you give me some good, easy ideas, that'd be great. I just could, yeah, I can do the whole thing in primer gray first. Not the, um, not the wheels, or his face, of course. I'm just gonna do the sides. That's probably the best. That's gonna be Zebra Thomas. Now, I already did Fabulous Thomas, and that came really nice. And um, he's pretty good, actually. I did. I also did, um, I think it was Percy. I did a Percy over there somewhere, too. Not not as uh, Fabulous. I just did Percy to look like Mater. I painted him brown. He used to be green, I think, or, or orange. I forget. Sorry, guys. I don't remember the names of the color of the trains. I don't remember the names of the trains or the colors of the trains. So, okay, no problem. I'm just going to go across here near the back. And I'll paint the whole thing white, and then I'll add some black stripes. I'll leave that right there. 
Oops, can't see. Sorry if I don't hold the camera in all the time in the right place. It's hard to see and hold at the same time and talk and keep everything in focus there for that boy. Thomas is looking good already as a as a primer. I can't wait to get the stripes on him. Several of you people asked for Zebra Thomas over the while and I just kept putting it off because I had so many to do and now I'm catching up again after Christmas and trying to get lots more done. Get the channel back up the track. Everybody's channel is suffering these days so we gotta keep keep coming up with new ideas all the time, right? And all you guys with the nice new new um, cars you're painting. I'd like to see some more of those videos or just pictures. I'll put them up on my site if you want me to. There! There is so far this is um, going to be Primer Thomas and when I come back I'll paint it white and then I'll put all kinds of um, black stripes on like a zebra. So let's leave that dry in the heat lamp. Okay and now I'm going to prime this car um, Primer Grey and see if I can turn it into Glitter McQueen. It's going to be a pretty quick video, this one here. It's going to cover it all up with primer and pour the glitter on it. I don't think I'll make it to 10 minutes today, or however long the videos normally are. But it doesn't matter. If I don't, I'll just throw in some bonus material at the end. And we'll see how it goes, folks. we got lots of lots of material here. I can't wait to pour the glitter on this. It's nice and thick. It's going to be a really quick video, like I said. Glitter McQueen. I keep calling it Glitter Storm by mistake because of Jackson Storm. I have Glitter Storm over there and that was a really cool one. What I did him for was um, in one of my uh, stories I wanted um, Jackson Storm to be watching the Demolition Derby unbeknownst to Lightning and Cruz. Cruz and Lightning were practicing against Miss Fritter and all those guys trying to get some speed up and how to run faster against the new cars and um, I made a story up that said um, Jackson Storm was actually watching in disguise and he's wearing a glitter costume. So that's where that idea came from, Glitter Storm. And it was pretty cool. And then don't forget uh, Cruise and Mirrors was Cruise Storm. He had those numbers on the back. Remember Cruise was dressed up like, oh actually Guido put some stripes on Cruise and Mirrors to give him um, give Lightning something to aim at in the, when he was trying to train. Remember he was going really fast in the back on the old dirt track and Luigi covered him up with with stripes. Okay, I'm gonna just pour the sprinkles on this right now, folks, and see how this looks. We got the sprinkles ready. This is gonna be a quick one, like I said. I don't wanna make too much of a mess. Here goes. We'll cover it with sprinkles and see what sticks. Glitter McQueen. Let's see. Turn it over and pour it on. Oops, I got some in my paint. Okay, how's that looking? That's there. Wow. It's an awful mess. This looks like stuff you put on a cake or something. Wow, this is looking good, folks. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Glitter McQueen. I can't wait to show that at the end. Let's put that aside and let the paint dry. And then we'll come back in a few minutes and we'll put the first coat of white on Thomas the Train. Look at that beautiful car. Okay, folks, here we go. We have um, Thomas the Train now primer. And I'm going to put white, I have a beautiful bottle of white paint here. I'm going to put some white paint there and I'm going to put a nice, maybe two coats of white on Thomas before I put the zebra stripes on. And I'm not going to show you Glitter McQueen anymore because I'm going to put him on display at the end. That came out way better than I thought. Wait till you see it. Just keep watching me here first while I put, I'm going to put two coats of white on. This is the, the white base for Zebra Thomas the Train. And I'm going to try and... But someone gave me this idea. I used to go all white and black stripes by hand, you know, one after the other. And someone said, why don't you paint it white first and then add this black stripe? And I said, ah, great idea. If you know who that was, put it in the comment section. Maybe it was someone watching this video right now that said, put the white on and then add the black stripes. But I want to thank whoever it was for that because it makes it a whole lot easier to, put, to make it into a zebra. Just to add, to add black stripes. And I'm just going to leave the wheels blue, like I said, and the bottom black. And I'm going to make the top zebra. It's going to be pretty cool. That's the beauty of all these wooden trains, you know. You can paint the trains or the cars, too. The, tra the cars are die cast, but the wooden trains, you can paint Thomas back into Thomas if, I want, if you want to. Just turn them blue again. And I got lots of blue. And like I said, all those paints are available at the dollar store. It's only a dollar. And it makes it fun to play with. You can sit down with your parent or your, or your friends and come up with ideas to make Thomas a different color and maybe even change the character. Maybe make Thomas like like Toby or Thomas like um, 
Who are the other trains that you like? Everybody likes um, Thomas, of course. And everyone likes Toby. And everyone likes um, Percy. And all the rest of them. Some, some trains they don't like. Does everybody like Spencer? Is Spencer a popular train? Uh, I think he is. I think there was a movie out called about Spencer in it, a Thomas and Friends movie with Spencer. Spencer on the rails, is that it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, there's the first coat of white. We're gonna leave that dry, folks. I'm gonna come back in a few minutes, put the second coat on, then I'll put the black stripes on. Check it out. Hey, Thomas. All right, guys, the first coat of white has dried really nice. I'm gonna put another coat on right now, and that'll be the nice thick base coat we need for making beautiful zebra Thomas. And putting the thin stripes on, I'm going to use a tiny little brush and put nice black stripes on it. I'd like to know whose idea this was. And I think it was more than one person's idea over a while, actually. Um, thanks for sending all your comments in, folks. I really appreciate that. It really helps when I have a, a bunch of a variety of comments I can choose from to see which ones I can make. I had, when I came out this morning, I had no idea I was going to be making um, Zebra Thomas or Glitter Lightning just out of the blue. Somebody mentioned that and I read the comments and it worked out really well. I'm happy with this. Um, I need to ask you guys a question too. What else can I make for you guys to keep the audience growing? Uh, my audience seems to has dropped off quite a bit since Christmas and I actually stopped making videos every day for a few weeks to see what would happen but that wasn't a good idea because people moved on to other channels so I need to know what I can do to keep you guys watching and make more people come back to watch your videos what would you like to see me make um, I'm pretty creative around this stuff I can do pretty much anything but what do you guys like watching I guess the question is and I have a small audience I like to grow it and get up to a million views a day right now I'm I'm at around 100,000 views a day. I'd like to get to a million, and I need your help. What can I do to get more people watching the videos? That's my question for today. Send in the comments section what you'd like to see me make. It's a good channel. It's all family-friendly, good, clean videos. Check that out, guys. That's the second coat of white. Now, when I come back, I'm going to start putting the black stripes all over this thing. And I'll put the number one back on the side in yellow. That's going to be cool. What do you think, Thomas? Looks good. Okay guys, we're down to the last stage now. We got two coats of beautiful white paint on Thomas and we're gonna put some black paint right here. And we have a nice thin brush. I'm not gonna show you Glitter McQueen yet. And I'm gonna try and put some black on a little thin brush, see it? And I'm gonna make zebra stripes all over Thomas. I'm gonna start here and just make some little lines like this. I got no plan for this, so if you uh, know what I mean when you start painting these things, See, that came pretty nice already. And I was told by somebody to make a line right down the back, or the top, I should say, and they make all the zebra, zebra lines come out that way. See, just like up there. And see how that looks. Not bad. Okay, now I can make the little zebra line over the top of this cover, or the stack, whatever it is. There, now I'm gonna Hmm, let's see. I'll try and make the zebra stripes. I'll do this same way here. No matter how I do it, it's gonna look pretty good, right? Because this is gonna be totally different than Thomas normally looks. Have any of you guys ever made a, a zebra colored painted car? Let me know what you think. I'm gonna go right down the back here and put little lines off to the side like this. Really weird looking. Hmm, not bad. Have you ever seen a zebra in real life? Let me ask you that question. Have you ever been to the jungle or Africa or a zoo where they have zebras? I've never, oh yes, I did see a, somebody has a zebra at a farm nearby. It's like a pet. And we went over one day and I got a video of him. It's a zebra. There, look at that. Okay, now I'm gonna go across the bottom right here. Little stripes, not fancy. And in here. This is all, like I said, um, I got no plan for this. I'm just going on my own and see how it looks. Hang on, Thomas. We're almost done, buddy. And then we can take some pictures of Glitter McQueen and Zebra Thomas. There, so far so good. Now the hard part. I'm gonna come down right here and see how that looks. I'll make a bunch of drops down here. 
somebody didn't like the fact that I painted over um, Rainbow Fillmore yesterday. Wow, easy guys, it's just a car. You can always repaint it. Um, I can do that again sometime if you want. Now I'll go down here and see how I can get the stripes. Yeah, somebody didn't like the idea that I painted over Rainbow, Rainbow um, Fillmore and they didn't like it at all. But I don't care, uh, I can repaint them again if you want. And if you have any more suggestions for rainbows or zebras, let me know folks and I will surely get at it. Wow, check it out. This is one of the best ones yet. I think I say that every car, don't I? And we just got to right down the back here. And I'll start on this end actually because that's the way I was going. It's almost done. Some of the stripes on a zebra are thick. Some of them are thin, but they go right down. They start at the top and they go right down. And it's hard to get them perfect. But a zebra actually knows its mother by its stripes. Can you believe that? They all look alike to us, but when you see a zebra, the zebra baby knows his mother from the stripes. He memorizes them when he's born and he knows right where his mummy is in all those thousands and thousands of zebras in the jungle. There, look at that. Look at that, folks. Will I even bother putting number one in there? I'm gonna try and get a yellow brush and some yellow paint and put number one in there when this dries, and we'll see how it looks. Let's come back in a minute and finish it off. Okay, we have some yellow paint. I'm gonna try and do this. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I'm gonna put a nice number one right on the side. There's Thomas Original. I'm gonna try and put a one right inside the yellow paint. Even though everybody's gonna know it's Thomas, I'm gonna get a nice thick brush and paint number one right here. Beautiful. Okay, and now turn it over. And I'll do the same on this side. There, there is Zebra Thomas, folks. Let's clean up this here and we'll put the train on display with Glitter McQueen right there. First, I want to show you a beautiful, beautiful Glitter McQueen. Check that out. I got them on a pedestal here. It's a nice bright light. I hope they show up nice. Look at the nice glitter on the car all around it. It's hard to believe that Lightning McQueen would just glitter on him. Beautiful work. Okay guys, there's Glitter McQueen. He's gonna be now next to Glitter Storm over there. Now let's put the other uh, vehicle we did. Folks, here is Zebra Thomas the Train. Perfect, check it out. Look at that. Thomas is really proud to be painted in zebra colors. Thanks for the guys for suggesting it. I really appreciate it. Let's move these cars back to our town and have a look. Okay, there's uh, Glitter Lightning McQueen and Glitter Jack the Storm. I think this got more paint on. I think I sprayed some paint on top of him to make him look more dirty. Look, he got dirty wheels and everything from the uh, Demolition Derby. The Lightning still has bling bling wheels. Look at the sparkles. Wow, he is really good looking. And where is our uh, Thomas? There's Zebra Thomas over here with all the rest of the Zebra cars. The Zebra Chick Hicks and Zebra Lightning McQueen. Check it out, folks. Thanks again for watching everybody. I hope you liked this video of painting Zebra Lightning. I mean Zebra Thomas the Train. If you have any more suggestions, put them in the comment section. I'll see if I can get to them. But I think my favorite right now is actually Glitter Lightning McQueen. Thanks for watching everybody and have a great day.